morning everybody give you a little uh, history of how I got this motor and tranny um, it's a straight 8 out of a 53 Pontiac um, and uh, it caught fire as a matter of fact the fuel pump here you can see it's melted down there on the bottom, it's supposed to have a little glass bowl, I'm sure some of you are familiar with. Well, I had a crack in it, it was leaking fuel, and started a fire. And uh, burned, all, burned up pretty much pretty good all the rubber and everything. That's why there's no rubber on this thing. And, and Anyway, the guy who owned it decided, uh, once he looked into replacing all the rubber bushings and everything on the front end, decided he's just going to go ahead and... Uh, put a Camaro front clip under it and put a 350 in it and get rid of this thing so I got it in an exchange for some work um, I helped my cousin uh, put the front clip in and um, so and my cousin owed me some money so he got this from Lamar he got the motor and training from Lamar and I got it from Jack my cousin Jack so anyway last night I actually found my uh, new fuel pump on eBay and bought it so that should be coming here in, in a week or so. And so today I'm going to start off, start tearing some of this uh, motor down and see what's what and, and figure out what's going to go where and I don't know, that kind of stuff. Alright, there it is off. Let's see where it melted. That top part is actually a vacuum pump. Ran the windshield wipers on the 53 Pontiac, I guess. That's a vacuum line coming off the top. And then the bottom part is the fuel pump. It's two and one. That's where the fuel come in and come out over here on this side. The fuel pump actually looks like it probably would have been okay. I just would have had to get a new little glass bulb down here. But with the heat involved in the fire, probably best that I just went ahead and replaced it anyway. You can see melted quite a bit up on top. But, but I think I probably could have got away without using the top vacuum pump somehow, but oh well. It's bought and paid for now and it's on its way. So there you go. Uh, put that back in so I didn't lose it. Just put a little piece of cardboard over so nothing gets done in there. Never seen one done by hand. Yeah. Yeah. Same doing it on truck tires all the time, Jack. Oh, that's right, yeah. Not on the road. <laughs> that's right, that's the thing. They do it by hand on the truck tires. Damn, you tore that rent tire up. Nah, it didn't hurt it. All it did was the top of it. It didn't hurt it out. <laughs> Just to show you what I'm doing, I dug my these rims came on the truck when I bought it. Got these, not exactly sure what these are, some kind of old Ford truck rim or something. And then I got a set of 44, I got two 44 rims. They come with tires. I'm taking the other one off because the other one, the tube's no good. But those are gonna be those tires are going to be on those other rims in the back. And then either the 40 Fords with smaller tires will be in the front. Yeah, nice big pop. And then the 40 Fords with smaller tires will either be in the front or I got some, uh, these are 19s, but I also have a set of 21s. I might put the 21s, the 21s are over there under the rack. Might put the 21s two of the 21's on the front. Oh, I got some 17's around here too, somewhere. 17's are uh, we got all kind of tires actually 17's are actually Pontiac. They have to be converted because the, I don't know where they are. They're around here somewhere, hidden somewhere. But anyway, we're trying to see if we, this tube would be repairable, but it's not going to be. 
Got a pretty good gash in it. So. Well, 